Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In my previous video, I have shared how to create a store procedures, inserting, updating and deleting the records from a table using individual store procedures. But in this video, I will show you how to create a complete CRUD operations in a single store procedures. I'm creating a new store procedure for this example, store procedure. And the store procedure name is CRUD. I'm deleting the default parameters. Before adding the parameters, let's browse the table. I'm expanding the tables, the employee table, columns. And these columns, the ID value is the auto generated column. I'm declaring the parameters of the employee table at ID int is equals to 0 comma at ename var cat 255 is equals to null at location var cat 255 is equals to null at department var cat 255 is equals to null at age the last one is the uh, integer data time which is a zero and the last one I'm declaring the parameter choice var cat here the choice is used to insert the records, delete the records or update the records. Come to the bottom, I am deleting the default select statement if at choice is equals to between the single quotes insert begin and insert into employee table the columns are ename location department and the last one is the age values at ename at location at department at H. and this statement is used to insert the records the second one is copy this paste here instead of insert I am updating the records update delete the insert statement update employee table set ename is equals to at ename location location is equals to at location department is equals to at department age is equals to at age where ID is equals to at ID. This statement is used to update the records. Let's copy this. Paste here. The last one is that delete the records. Delete from employee table where id is equals to at id and in this stored procedure and i have created inserting updating and deleting in a single stored procedure the CRUD operation i am executing the stored procedure command completed successfully let's refresh this stored procedure folder 
and notice here the current stored procedure is added to the stored procedures folder before using the stored procedure let's browse the table at this moment in this employee table there are 19 records let's use this CRUD stored procedure to insert a new records in this employee table I'm creating a new query execute the stored procedure name is a CRUD at ename Sharon at location is equals to Herbad at department is equals to IT at age is equals to 29 and the last one I'm adding the choice parameter which is the insert now when I execute this stored procedure the new record churn will be added into this employee table execute and we got the message command completed successfully let's check the table execute and see here the new record 20 churn Harvard IT and 29 now I want to update this churn record the location from Hyderabad to Bangalore the location Hyderabad Bangalore instead of insert I'm to update I need to provide the employee ID column also ID is equals to and the last record is the 20 the Charan ID is a 20. 20. Execute. Command completed successfully. Let's check in the table. When I refresh, the location will be changed from Hyderabad to Bangalore. See the Charan? The location is a Bangalore. Now I want to delete this employee churn from this employee table. Go back here. Just leave it ID column. The choice is delete. When I execute this stored procedure, the employee ID 20 will be deleted, which is churn. Execute. Command completed successfully. Let's check in a table. The churn is available. When I execute the table, see now we got only 19 records. The churn employee 20 is deleted from this employee table. That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video, and please subscribe my channel. I'll catch you on my upcoming videos.